Hi folks, this is the first of our 1981 Sunline Camper Trailer Restoration Project video. So we just picked this up yesterday. Um, budget, it's a 1981. It's quite old. Uh, I had to power wash it twice. It was filthy dirty and still, still is a good bit dirty. Um, the shell is good. I think the trailer portion is good. Um, not much else is working in it, so there's going to be a lot of work to restore it. Um, but at that price that we picked it up, it's pretty good. Um, so all the marker lights up top have to be replaced. You can see that they're all busted. Um, brake light busted. That one works. Okay, um, our hot water heater doesn't work. It's down there. I'll show you that to you in a minute. But the power, I can plug it in okay. The uh, gray water and black water, I don't know if you can see them under there. Probably not. They're all foobard. The uh, black water tank is completely useless. It's been filled with great stuff, but I think I can repair the gray water line. Uh, the battery is brand new, so that's good. There's two propane tanks uh, that go here, but I have to sand everything down and repaint it. The uh, propane tank bracket was literally held only with one, one screw. I'm surprised I got it home without it, without it falling apart. Uh, it does have an awning. I heard it works. I haven't pulled it out yet. Um, outside power. The wheels have to be painted. Probably paint them black uh, with some Rust-Oleum. I removed the handle, the exterior handle. For, I had a light in it and such so forth, so I'll have to repair that uh, to find something on eBay. Alright, let's go in. Okay, so I don't know if we can see it okay. Let's see if I can adjust. Okay, there it adjusted the lighting. Okay, so here's the interior. So I removed all the seat cushions and the uh, the wood that uh, the access panels. This is the front seat with kitchen table. Uh, it's kind of nice. Um, storage area up top, which folds down into a bunk bed. I don't think we'll ever use it as a bunk bed, but it does have that. You know, it's got these old windows crank windows definitely not a uh, winter vehicle uh, the windows are not don't seal real well um, we have a propane electric uh, refrigerator it does not work so I'll probably be pulling that out and replacing it uh, with either just a basic electric or maybe even a propane um, we've got a, a, a propane heater that works supposedly I don't know haven't tried it so the sink, kitchen sink, uh, and the stove, they work. Uh, but I, like I said, I have to get the gray water tank working. I'll have to MacGyver or some piping down there. and I think I can get that working without a problem. Plenty of storage. You know, we'll probably leave the top of the cabinets here, the top of the um, kitchen table as it is. But I'm gonna spray paint this black. I already started sanding it down. We'll just do that a nice black just to make it simple. You can see there's some terrible backsplash. It's the original backsplash. It's actually really in good shape, the interior of this uh, camper. But I'll probably put some a nice backsplash on it. Um, again, we've got the back bunk. There's actually a pullout here that I removed, which turns it into a double bed. And uh, so two people can sleep there, two people can sleep up in the kitchen area. And again, it has a bunk bed, but I'm just going to push it up and make it storage. Um, lots of little cubby holes in areas. Um, the flooring, the flooring's the original. Uh, we'll probably replace that with some nice linoleum. And there is a bathroom in here. I don't know if we can see it. Uh, there is the toilet, which runs to the black water tank, which is completely useless. We'll have to replace it most likely, but 
We're not an urgent, I don't think, if we go camping, we'll probably use the campsites, uh, shower and bathroom. But the uh, water is supposedly supposed to work for the sink and the shower. They all go to the gray water tank, which I think I can repair. And we can put up a new backsplash for the shower. Um, <coughs> the interior is pretty good. It doesn't appear to leak. Uh, I started sanding the ceiling here. We're going to sand this down. I'm going to repaint it, put some kills on it. And uh, but you can see some of the damage just from aging, but slight water damage it looks like, but it doesn't seem to be leaking right now. It seems to be old. I'll probably still go up on the roof and you know put some uh, flex seal on it, rubberize it a little bit better. All the light fixtures seem to work in here, but I'm going to probably replace them anyway. Um, just make them nicer and make them LED because they run off the battery and off the electrical. Um, if they run off the battery, the LED will last longer. Got some crazy wood paneling. Probably gently sand that down with some fine grit and then paint that. Um, we had all the cushions reupholstered. Probably put up some new, um, new uh, curtains. And uh, we should be good and just do some minor repairs and touch ups. Uh, but the interior should is in really good shape. Um, the hot water heater is back here. Of course, you can see it's been bypassed. Um, I'll probably just put in an instant electric instant on um, heater, which would be much smaller and easier to use. Um, that's it. So I started the build. I started cleaning things up, and uh, we'll see how we do as we go. All right.